Hello everyone, this is Saida and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, then please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon. Today, I am going to explain a short summary and critical analysis of W.H. Auden's poem, Mose the Box Arts. Don't get confused by its name. The simple translation is the Museum of Fine Arts. So without wasting our further time, let's get started. This poem is about a Renaissance painting. The translation of Moses box art is the Museum of Fine Arts, as I have already discussed before. Auden visited this museum and he was particularly enchanted by this painting, The Fall of Icarus. It is a Renaissance painting and was painted in 16th century by an Italian Renaissance painter. This painting particularly intrigued Auden and he tried to relate his present society to the idea or message he found in that painting. Now let's start our line by line explanation of this poem. About suffering they were never wrong, the old masters how well they understood. The word they in the first line is for the old masters because he is looking at their painting. These old masters are the great painters of the past, especially the Renaissance time. For example, Michael, Angelo, Mona Lisa, the sculptorist, etc. So the poet is looking at the paintings of the old masters and the first thing that he comes up with is suffering. The old masters painted suffering in their paintings and they were never wrong because they always picked up the right thing. It's human position, how it takes place while someone else is eating or opening a window or just walking dully along. Here it is for suffering. He wants to convey this idea that suffering is such an essential part of human existence and it is there in the midst of everyday life in everything. Someone is eating, opening a window or walking dully along. All these activities are very common and he may be killed during these activities by an accident. Anything can happen while there is harmless everyday activity going on. How when the aged are reverently, passionately waiting for the miraculous birth, there always must be children who did not specially want it to happen, skating on a pond at the edge of the wood. Here the poet talks about the kind of generation gap between the old and the young people. The aged people have their feelings for religion and they wait for the miraculous birth means the Christmas. And the children probably are not as religious and they keep skating on the pond at the edge of the forest. So they keep their games on and only the aged reverently wait for the time when Jesus Christ was born in order to worship him. They never forgot that even the dreadful martyrdom must run its course. Dreadful martyrdom means someone who was very brave. The children never forget that even someone who is a great warrior must run its course means his life will also come to an end. Anyhow, in a corner, some untidy spot where the dogs go on with their doggy life and the tortured horse scratches its innocent behind on a tree. Anywhere, all streets are visited in time by death. Anything can happen anywhere, even at a place which is untidy and where just dogs go for relieving themselves or where the horse scratches himself behind the tree. These lines clearly show the certainty of death. In Bruegel's Icarus, for instance, how everything turns away quite loyally from the disaster. The plowman may have heard the splash, the forsaken cry. But for him, it was not an important failure. The sun shone as it had to on the white legs disappearing into the green water and the expensive delicate ship that must have seen something amazing. A boy falling out of the sky had somewhere to get to and sailed calmly on. Bruegel is the name of the painter who painted this painting, The Fall of Icarus. Everything turns away means everything is ignorant or just moves away carelessly from the disaster. The disaster here is the fall of Icarus, the drowning of a young boy into the water. The plowman, the shepherd, the sailor, everybody just moves ignorantly from this disaster. They don't even notice that a young life has been lost. He is drowning and his legs are visible and nobody even notices him. The poet says then when Icarus must have fallen, the plowman may have heard his cry or saw the splash in water, but it did not disturb the plowman. For the plowman, it wasn't an important failure. 
we are very careless about others failures and the people who are in the ship they must have seen the fall of this young man they must have entertained themselves by seeing such a phenomena but they never stopped their journey the ship goes on continuing to its journey all the people must have seen the splashes in water must have seen the boy falling from the sky but they seemed ignorant this is the bitter reality of our society people are not mindful of the suffering that happens around anywhere to anyone the poem is not just a description of a painting by the poet rather it is an experience of the poet about the painting he looks at the painting and he relates it with the social conditions prevailing in the society so this was our today's video if you find this explanation easy and helpful then please don't forget to like this video and also subscribe my channel see you in my next video bye bye take care